Hey everybody, Scott Spritzer here, DocSports.com. Welcome to the update for Wednesday, April 1st, 2020. This video will be up for a couple of days until Friday morning. And we're going to talk about the Carolina Panthers, their upcoming 2020 campaign. First, a real quick note, be sure to take advantage of that $60 free account. You can get there by clicking on the link below the video so you'll be all set up for when the sports world resumes. As far as the sports world is concerned, still no new news. There is some talk again going on about a potential NBA finish to the season with teams being being sequestered in Las Vegas. We've heard the Bahamas mentioned. Uh, no news on the English Premier League as of yet. Still talking about a couple of stadiums, couple of cities where they might sequester their teams and then play out the rest of their regular season. So we'll let you know as we hear the updates. Hopefully we'll have more news on tomorrow's or on should say on Friday's video. Speaking of Friday, uh, Rafael Esparza and myself will be doing a video together and it's going to be a fun one. I'm going to save the surprise and the video topic for Friday, but it'll be up Friday evening at the very latest. We'll tell you more about that on the next football video, which will be on Friday morning, 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. All right, we're wrapping up the NFC South, and we're doing so with those Carolina Panthers. If you've missed any of our previews thus far, you can check them out on my YouTube page. Uh, but as far as Carolina over under win total, six and a half, minus 130 on the under. You've got a new coach. You've got a new quarterback. You've got a new philosophy. You've got no Cam Newton. You've got no Luke Keekley. He retired. And now they head into 2020 with this new look and with all the new parts and again not getting a ton of respect as far as they're over under wins total being six and a half with that juice again on the under if you've watched my videos over the years uh, the videos or listening to me doing radio on all different outlets uh, then you'll already know i'm a huge matt rule fan the former baylor coach uh, who is now going to be coaching the carolina panthers everywhere he goes his teams win football games we haven't seen it at the nfl level yet so this is a new situation for matt rule but i think he'll do quite well and i'm betting he's going to get the job done long term however 2020 uh, could provide more growing pains than maybe carolina fans are hoping for uh, they did sign teddy bridgewater he takes over at quarterback cam newton as i mentioned is moving on uh, you'll recall that newton suffered a foot injury in preseason last year his team started five and three under kyle allen and then lost their final eight games. At this point of their careers, I do believe that Bridgewater and Newton are rather even when both are healthy. Now, pass protection was a mess last year at times for Carolina. It got worse as the season progressed. They did sign John Miller. He's a guard. It should help out a little bit. Uh, they're also trying to get more aggressive throwing the football downfield. At least that's the way they're talking as Matt Rule takes the reins of the Carolina Panthers. That's why they went out and they signed, for instance, wide receiver Robbie Anderson. I'm lukewarm on that one, uh, but again, they're looking for more firepower downfield. They've already got guys like Christian McCaffrey, I mean, among others. This team's loaded with targets for Bridgewater to get the football to through the air and on the ground. Uh, last year, injuries hurt badly on defense. Their Panthers DVOA wasn't good at all. Uh, they did sign Justin Burris, which should help at safety, but they still need a corner. They need an offensive lineman, defensive lineman, linebacker. A good chance, I think, that they're going to select defensive tackle Derek Brown out of Auburn with their first pick, which is the seventh pick overall in the upcoming NFL draft. I think he would fit in very well with this team and shore up some problems up front on the defensive line rather quickly. When you look at their uh, schedule, their non-divisional road games, at Green Bay, at Kansas City, at the Chargers, at Minnesota, at Washington. Maybe one win in the mix out of those non-divisional road games. Home non-divisionals against Chicago, Detroit, Denver, the Raiders, and Arizona. All five of those games could be winnable games for the Carolina Panthers. I don't think they'll win them all, uh, but outside of the division, a rather easy uh, non-divisional home slate. I think the team ends up with six wins on the season. Now I've seen as low as five and a half wins for projected totals. I've seen as high as six and a half. So uh, take your pick. You want to bet Carolina over, there are five and a half. So you want to bet them under, there are six and a half. So I think the team finishes right at six wins in what will be Matt Rule's first season at the helm. And again, I do like the future for the Carolina Panthers under Matt Rule and this staff. But I think the, uh, getting past six wins is going to be a little bit tough inside this particular division that they're in in 2020. 
And that's going to do it for me for Carolina. That wraps up our NFC South predictions. They're all available right now on my YouTube page. Again, don't forget about that $60 free account. You grab that and you click on the link below the video and you'll be all set to go when the sports world resumes. I'm Scott Spritzer, DocSports.com. If you like the videos, click on that thumbs up button. Be sure to subscribe. And uh, when you do subscribe, you'll be privy to uh, the exact moment that I release a new video. I will be back with a couple of videos on Friday. We'll have another NFL division that we'll start jumping into on Friday morning by 5 a.m. Eastern, 2 a.m. Pacific. And then, as I mentioned, Friday afternoon, me and Raphael, we're going to have some fun with a video I think you're going to like, which will be posted by Friday night. I'll tell you more about that on the Friday NFL video. Carolina, six wins in 2020. I'm Scott Spritzer. We'll see you again Friday morning.